ensures that as the ILS proton travels easterly downrange, you may notice some very br brief delays in our reporting of key mission milestones. The reason behind this delay is that as the vehicle follows its path, it will pass out of range of the bike in our receiving stations. At this point, signals are received by stations downrange and then transmitted back to Baikonur. Uh, we're coming up on T-minus two minutes. Weather's looking really good, clear night. We should have a beautiful view of this launch and those there in Baikonur to watch it. In addition to those at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, there are many others watching who have played an important role in the Astra 2G mission. And we'd like to say thanks for all your hard work in getting to this moment. SES employees in Luxembourg and the regional offices around the world, we'd like to take a moment to say hello to SES VIP Martin Hallowell, who made the lengthy journey to Baikonur and is watching live from the Cosmodrome. Airbus Defense and Space employees in Europe, sites, and around the world, Krunichev employees in Moscow and other regions of Russia, ILS headquarters in Reston, Virginia, and many others who have helped today's launch of Astra 2G a reality. We're coming up on T minus one minute to launch in seven seconds. T minus one minute. Okay. You can hear some of the ambiance from the Cosmodrome. We'll also be hearing the Russian announcer uh, giving the instructions and the information as the broadcast comes down to uh, countdown here. As I said earlier, it's about uh, minus three to five degrees with a little bit of a wind, so it's a little chilly out there watching the launch tonight. Just under 30 seconds to launch. Now we're going to step aside for the launch of Astra 2G. Give ignition. We have liftoff of an ILS proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Astra 2G satellite on board. About 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle does a roll maneuver to alter the attitude of the vertically launched proton towards the northeasterly flight plan and will soon experience maximum, maximum Q, which is the maximum dynamic pressure, which is when the aerodynamic stress on the launch vehicle in atmospheric flight is maximized. For Proton, max Q occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff, and at a velocity of Mach 1.6. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosmodrome in the northeasterly direction with a flight azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. On clear nights, observers at the Baikonur Cosmodrome will see a halo effect of light as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Look at it going. Wow, that looks beautiful. Actually, you can see a halo on the screen too, or at least I'm seeing one. But this is not what I'm talking about earlier. Judy's reporting nominally from Baikonur from our Mission Control Center, and here we go. And we have confirmation of ignition of the second stage and a good separation from the first stage.
beautiful camera work from Baikonur. The next key milestone, mission milestone, will be separation of the third stage from the second at L plus 5 minutes and 27 seconds. 20 seconds after that event, the payload fairing pyros will fire, separating the two halves and jettison from the third stage. On a clear night with low humidity, I've observed the shutdown of the second stage of proton and the ignition of the third stage of proton. This is a special treat for those people that have traveled so far to observe this launch. The launch site for Proton missions is the Baikonur Cosmodrome, which is rich in space history. Let's take a closer look at the launch facility. The Baikonur Cosmodrome is the world's first and largest operational space launch facility and has been in operation since 1955. It's located in the desert steppe of Kazakhstan, approximately 2,100 kilometers or 1,300 miles southeast of Moscow. The Cosmodrome is a large complex that extends about 100 miles from east to west and 55 miles north to south, which is about the size of Holland. Under Roscosmos, the Russian Federal Space Agency, Baikonur remains a busy spaceport with numerous commercial, military, and scientific missions being launched annually. The Baikonur Cosmodrome is under a long-term lease from the Republic of Kazakhstan. Today's ILS Proton will launch from Pad 39 in Area 200, one of the three launch pads available for proton launch use. 